Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 6th. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. We're just going to see what comes up. Get one of these just for the heck of it. Increase in money. Well, that's a good one. There's going to be an increase of money. All right. So that's really good. If somebody's going to see an increase. Uh, they may be receiving a gift or a loan or um, a bonus or they just see an uptick in their bank account or the revenue goes up. Something about money. Four of Swords reversed. Strength. Strength is overcoming. It's self-control. It's self-discipline. And this is tired, exhausted, fed up in the past. I feel like somebody is really working hard to achieve something. They're finding their willpower and their discipline. And I feel like their hard work is about to pay off in some way. Strength is a card of, you know, overcoming obstacles. And, and you know, have to, and, and I'm not sure how this has to do with money, but in this card, there's fear, okay? There is obviously fear. It looks like there's something under the bed. There's a monster under the bed, you know? Uh, but this is uh, tired, exhausted, having a hard time sleeping, maybe not getting as much work done, having a hard time getting out of bed, maybe haunted by something. Maybe haunted by a monster of the past. You know, haunted by something. This is extremely exhausted and tired and fed up and frustrated and, you know, uh, taking breaks. Maybe taking a lot of breaks. Maybe somebody was taking a break and it may have a, and, or they weren't working very hard or something. This is sleeping a lot, you know, but I, there is an increase of money that is coming if you find your ambition and your strength and your self-discipline to, you know, control your emotions, master your emotions, and change the circumstances. So this is self-discipline. It is self-control. It's, it's, it's doing something, you know, overcoming an obstacle. Um, some sort of uh, abundance is coming, okay? After there's been some sort of stagnation or lag or whatever. Ooh, Three of Swords. Now that is painful. Three of Swords is pain. It is suffering. Uh, painful separation, heartache. Could be heart pain. Um, you know, I just got to be honest with you. Uh, this can resemble the death of a situation. Somebody could be receiving money from an inheritance. You know, I'm not sure if somebody has passed away and they're re going to be receiving money from that. I, I mean, I have to tell you what I see. We do have some sort of pain here and suffering. We do, because that's what the Three of Swords is. It's pain, suffering, grieving. And this can be illness. I mean, we may have somebody here that has been very, very, very ill. And strength does mean the strength to let go. Somebody may be finding their strength and their courage to let go of something. 
Maybe it's money. Maybe, you know, money is the root of all evil. It really is. I know people don't understand that, but it truly, truly is. It is the root of all evil. And people don't want to believe it because of ego and materialism and the whole nine yards. Oh, no, no, no. Money makes me happy. Well, that's a pile of shit. You may think it does. Suffering. This is suffering. Three of swords is suffering. Four of swords is too. And this is extreme. So this is suffering. This is this really is. And it does have to do with money. Somebody may be really struggling because of money. Trying to increase their bank account, you know? <laughs> Anyhow, strength is a card of willpower and discipline and self-control and courage and confidence to overcome obstacles and fear to bring success. But this is also a card of ego. Strength is a card of ego. It is. Moon reversed. Nine of swords reversed. Yeah. Ooh, this is despair. This is anguish. This is sadness. It is sadness. There's some sort of emotions that are all over the place, and there is going to be a need to master emotions. You know, I have to be, somebody could end up in the hospital. Because this is like, it looks like a hospital blanket. That looks like a hospital bed as well. So, um, looks like a hospital blanket to me. Could even be prison. Could be something like that. Anyhow, um, giving deep thought to what has happened. There's been some sort of illusion. There's been some sort of, uh, something has been hidden with the moon reverse. I'm not sure if something has been revealed. It's come to the surface. Mastering emotions is going to be the name of the game. This is, I can't believe this has happened. Having plenty of time to think about what has happened. Somebody, this is heartache. This is suffering. It is pain. We may, I feel like we have somebody here that has focused on their money. And it's interesting that I started the reading out the way I did. All of you said, yay! Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Increase in money. Woohoo! I said the same thing. I was like, this is great. Mm -hmm. It is, isn't it? It's great. <laughs> no, it's not. And I knew that it wasn't. It ain't. It ain't. Okay. Uh, all is not as it seems. Okay, all is not as it seems with the moon card. Truths are going to be revealed. This is a reality check. This is a release of fear, and this one is too. So there's some sort of fear that has been holding somebody back. They're obviously in a desperate situation. Maybe they're in a desperate situation because of money. They're haunted. It's so interesting because I, that monster song by, I think it's, Rihanna and Eminem, monsters under my bed. That's what I see. Um, so we have somebody here that is getting a reality check. They are. This is a reality check. The moon reversed. And this is very, very fearful. We have somebody here that is very fearful of losing something of truths being revealed <laughs> I feel like we have a money hungry individual here I know you guys ain't gonna like that are you we have a we have a money hungry individual here who is suffering absolutely suffering in a lot of pain, grieving over a loss. 
hiding their feelings. This is somebody that is hiding. This is somebody that is enjoying the control. They have a lot of self-control, but they are hiding their feelings and they're suffering and they are not sleeping well. Somebody is not sleeping well at all. They are really struggling. I think they're struggling with the poor choice that they have made. There is some sort of heartache here. Stabbed right in the heart. You know, I think that we, somebody needs to be careful as well. Be really, really careful. It feels like somebody is hiding may be in hiding somebody may be hiding you know the moon is ruled by the shadow you can't see and it feels like I feel like we ten of wands reversed two of wands reversed This is a loss. This is a failure. This is giving up a battle or losing a battle. Somebody is losing a battle. That is the truth. Six of Wands reversed. This is somebody that has been following the pack, that doesn't take the lead, that doesn't do their own thing, that is probably losing recognition from people or losing support. Uh, I almost feel like somebody is... is has been paid or they're being paid to do something as well. So take that in however you want it. Anyhow, um, Four of Swords. This is Four of Swords is, is a desperate situation. Somebody needs help. They do need help, but they won't accept help. This is somebody that doesn't uh, listen to any advice making a conscious change with a ten of wands reverse dropping baggage letting go of a burden overwhelmed somebody is extremely overwhelmed with a decision that they have to make and there and it is decision remember i said that earlier somebody can is struggling with a decision they don't know if they should stay or they should go they're procrastinating there's some sort of heartache here it is it's big it is really, I feel like we have somebody here that has hurt another person or they're, you know, you know, I, hopefully they're not doing it on purpose, but there is some sort of monster here. Okay. I feel like we have a monster here. I do because the word, you know, I say often every word that comes out of my mouth is part of the reading. Okay. It feels like we have a monster here who is very, very prideful. Uh, very has a has a very very big ego this person is wants to win at all costs but isn't qualified to be the leader uh, doesn't because this person does not have the experience to be the leader anyhow with the six of wands reverse this is there's this is like um, somebody that doesn't follow through you know that loses track that loses focus that is unbalanced. So we have somebody here, and it may be mentally unbalanced. We have we have quite a few swords here, so we may have somebody here that is mentally imbalanced. That is really really um, hiding something. Um, this is a. I feel like we have an untrustworthy individual here, honestly, with the moon reverse. I feel like, and I do believe we have somebody that has a mental imbalance that is uh, very very. Um, controlling there's a lot of control here this person is uh thinking a lot about a partnership and they are really really struggling with somebody that they hurt by the looks of things or they're or they're doing something and they may be hurting another person they could end up i'm not sure if they're going to end up in jail or whatnot because jail came out of my mouth as well. Somebody is making a decision. And, and interesting. 
because this buy just jumped out at me and I don't think I've ever really noticed it on this card like I did just right now. So this is buy, this is making a change, this is dropping a baggage, dropping weight. Um, letting go of something. Somebody is letting go. They are letting go of something that has been haunting them. You know, I feel I feel like somebody has overcome a fear or they have overcome because it's overcoming an obstacle. We have somebody here that is overcoming and this is overcoming fear. Strength is and moon is about fear as well. And this is like a nightmare. And this is a nightmare too. And this one is too. So we have nightmares here as well. So somebody, it feels like somebody has been living in some sort of nightmare. But anyhow, um, this is overcoming an obstacle of fear and letting go of something, dropping the weight, dropping the baggage. This person has been following the pack. They have been listening to poor advice. They have been suffering. They have been haunted by something, this monster. And I feel like the monster is in the past. They've been haunted by this monster, focusing on their money, focusing on their material wealth. But I feel like there's a change because the Ten of Wands reverse is making a conscious change. And, and when the Ten of Wands is upright, this person is trying to prove something by carrying this. Somebody has been, you know, d carrying something that they don't need to carry, trying to prove something. But this is a reality check. It is a reality check. And I, I feel like this is a spur of the moment decision. Somebody's making a spur of the moment decision. They're mastering their emotions. They've given deep thought to, this has given deep thought to a partnership where there has been a lot of lies. Okay. And there's been a lot of pain as well. So anyway, I do believe that there is, uh, pride and ego has obviously gotten in the way of somebody you know, doing what is right. And pride and ego is uh, driven, or money is driven by pride and ego. You can say it either way. To have that, all those, uh, all those things and that money is ego-based. It is. It is. Now, when I see the Four of Swords, I think of the death of a person or idea somebody has not been going in the right direction and this is like a loss it is a failure they have failed to succeed in a situation and they have been suffering ever since this is grieving over a loss it is the three of swords is grieving and the six of wands reverse is loss somebody is grieving over a loss could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer with the Moon card, Leo. Um, doesn't have to be, could be anybody, but I do believe that uh, there's been a lot of procrastinating. There's been some indecisiveness and somebody has been trying to decide, at, to decide as whether they should stay or go, but they've been trying to prove something and now they're probably letting go of the need to prove or they need to let go of the need to prove. Somebody may have said goodbye because that bye is really after me. They may have said goodbye because, you know, of something that, that hurt. You know, somebody did something that hurt another person. So there is deep thought, giving deep thought to a relationship where somebody has done something. I feel like somebody has done something, um... without thinking. It feels like they didn't think. Swords are all about thoughts or they, or, and now they're thinking about it. Now they got plenty of time to think about it because somebody has said goodbye. I'm not dealing with you, but it all starts with, uh, the three, with the increase in money and the three of swords, which is suffering. It's pain stabbed right in the heart. Somebody is feeling stabbed right in the heart or they were hurt really, really badly by somebody's actions.
I feel like something has turned into a nightmare and there's going to be a need to uh, master emotions and make a conscious change to be more aware to be more real we have a reality check here so somebody is getting a reality check some sort of truth is being revealed and because that's the moon reverse some sort of truth is about to this truth truth hurts the truth hurts something also may have backfired because what I just saw was backfired you know it it may have it feels like something may have backfired it almost feels like somebody was playing games and they lost <laughs> they lost the game they thought they were gonna win they thought it was a big joke and it's not this is somebody that is power hungry that likes to have control and I feel like they've lost control They, they thought they were going to hurt somebody and it backfired and they got hurt trying to prove their point. Anyhow, I, I, there is a separation here and a loss. And it doesn't, it could be with anybody. It could be with anybody. Somebody is... Uh, this is the end of a situation where there was ego in the way. Somebody was trying to control a situation that they should have just gone with the flow. It's like they should have just, yeah, that's what it is. They should have just gone with the flow and not tried to prove anything. I also feel like somebody's going to be saying, oh my God, I can't believe this has happened. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. This is goodbye. And it is. This is goodbye. It's goodbye to something. Okay. We have somebody here that is not very intuitive with the moon card reversed. They were trying, it feels like somebody was trying to prove something, that they were in control or something like that. And it backfired, or it's going to backfire. We have caution a couple times as well in these cards. Caution, beware. Beware. Because, I mean, this is this could turn out, something could turn out badly. It could. I mean, I see, I see a monster, or I see haunted, I see nightmares, I see a Ouija board. I mean, a Ouija board can unleash bad energy, okay? So, I do believe that we have some bad energy here. And, you know, maybe that's what it is. This, maybe this is letting go of bad energy, There could be a sudden decision to let go of something. And this is probably a wake-up call. It's a reality check to master your emotions and control yourself. But then again, I feel like we have somebody here that is has been overly controlling and they hurt another person by trying to prove something. Anyway, giving deep thought to a partnership is in the very near future because something is going to be revealed and somebody is going to be making a conscious change. Good luck. <laughs>